In Python, string splicing is a way to chop up a string and maybe get a substring from that string. And we're going to see some examples of that soon. But first, let's go over some basic concepts. So an index is an integer referencing a specific position in a string's character sequence. For example, if you had the string hello, the H in hello would be at index 0, and the O in hello would be at index 4, because you start counting with 0 for indexes. And if there's five letters in hello, the indexes would be from 0 to 4. You can read multiple consecutive characters or a substring using slice notation. A substring is basically a string that's found within a larger string. So, for example, hell would be in the word hello, and hell would be the substring. In the example shown in the blue box, we have a URL, youtube.com slash c slash official slash playlist. And... In the domain variable, we are setting that to a substring, which is just going to get YouTube.com because it's starting from index 12, which is the Y in YouTube, and going up to 23. And that will return or print out, in this case, that domain, which will be YouTube.com. And we'll try this out in PyCharm and see an example of this. And also, you can add a third argument in your slice notation called the stride, which sets the increment of value. And we'll see examples of these as well. And also remember that strings are immutable in Python, which means that slice notation does not actually change the string, but it returns an all new version of the string or substring of that character sequence. All right, and at the top of this example, I have the same URL that we saw in the slide earlier. And setting the domain to the URL from the starting to ending indexes, 12 to 23. And then we're printing it out. So let's, let's take a look at that. Let me remove this for now and run the program and you'll see that it prints out youtube.com. And if I was to maybe change this 12 to an eight, it'll make the substring a little bit bigger and it prints out www.youtube.com because it's starting over here now rather than starting over here. And if I just remove the number after the colon, it gets you everything starting with that starting index 8. So it just gets you the remainder of the text in that URL. You just get like one single character. There's a single W by doing something like that. So you see string slicing is pretty simple in order to get substrings in Python. Let's add this other code back and let's take a look at what we have here. We have some numbers from 0 to 9. And the first statement will print out all the numbers. Okay, so we've got the two colons. And so we're not specifying any kind of starting index or, or ending index. But in the next example, even though we're not specifying a starting or ending index, we are providing that third option. This third option is called the stride, which means it's going to increment by two rather than incrementing by one, which is the default behavior. So if we're starting at zero, it's gonna print every second number and which will give us all the even numbers. And if we wanted to print all the numbers from one, from index one to index nine and increment by three, we can do it this way to print every third number. So let's run this program. We'll see here's all the numbers. Here's the even numbers only, and there's every third number between one and eight, which we get one, four, seven. And if we change this to two, we'd get every odd number between one and eight. So let's change it back. And um, yeah, so this is pretty much just a simple example of string splicing. And thanks for watching.